It is a strong indictment of the country's state of public hospitals that the baby of a woman who gave birth prematurely was devoured by a wildcat which had strayed into the incubator room where the premature baby was being housed. Reports that have sparked an uproar. Now the Ministry of Medical Services is pledging to act. So we can only say pole sana to the family, but surely we'll still take steps. Reports say the nurse who was on duty had neglected to close the door to the incubator room, which is what allowed the cut into the facility. Nyongo says should the ministry's investigations reveal instances of dereliction of duty, then those found guilty will be reprimanded severely. So their physical facilities are definitely not in line with what it takes with regard to what a hospital should look like now. That's why we are rehabilitating them. Nyongo says that funds have been set aside to give the hospital a much-needed facelift in order to stop such horrendous occurrences from happening. The building that houses the hospital is said to be an old army barracks. If you go to Kakamega, if you go to Nakuru, you find that these facilities were originally military barracks that the colonial government turned into hospitals at the end of the Second World War. The Kenya Society for the Protection of Animals have also sent a team to Garissa to deal with the stray cat menace. Led by veterinary doctors Ishmael Sawyer, the team intends to trap and neuter the male cats, a move aimed at reducing their population. Michael Mayaka, Citizen Live at 9.